All right, good afternoon, traders. Today is June 17th, 2024. This is the BYOB Market Wrap-Up with me, John Carrigan. I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. Today, traders did well today. So, I uh, had a plan and it worked and everything uh, worked out great. So, let's take a look at the market. Let's talk about SPY. All right, so here's SPY on the daily candle. All right, big igniting candle right over the base, breaking through resistance. Okay, three days consolidating on top. Look for another breakout. Okay, so here's SPY up over the all-time high anchored VWAP. Today's candle, higher low, higher high. Daily candle right into the top tine of the Andrews Pitchfork up here. Okay, so... Here's price action closing over the bullish trap over the rising 17 EMA. So here's SPY on the daily, on the two hour. We have a two hour uptrend. You can see price, the three, both of them over the eight, all three over the rising 17. Two hour uptrend, 10 minute. We have a 10 minute downtrend currently. Uh, just started about 20 minutes ago. We were in a 10-minute uptrend trend day uh, all the way up until the uh, almost the end of the day until the last, looks like it's going to be 30 minutes or 20, 20 minutes right there in a pullback. So you can see here it is price on the 10-minute chart is over the top tine of the Andrews Pitchfork. Uh, but on the daily, not figuring this out, we are underneath it so I don't know why that's different like that but that's the way it is all right so there's SPY definitely bullish looking for a possible two hour MMRP igniting candle up pause pull back to support support could be the top time support could be 543.71 or right up here the tops of these two wicks, 544.23. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We are looking for a possible bullish MMRP on the two-hour time frame. Now let's go take a look around the market. That is a new all-time high for SPY. And we'll take a look at daily chart. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ, new all-time high. Don't need to say anything else. You know, higher low, higher high. You guys know the deal. It's made up. It's a new, at a new all-time high. QQQ, ripping. I think QQQ wants to go to 500. What do you guys think? It's looking that way. It's looking like it's got 500 on the brain. All right. Let's take a look at FNGU. FNGU puts in another two-year high. Quickly approaching the all-time high up here, 550. Quickly approaching that area. Wow, it's up at 450. How high to get today? 466. It's getting kind of toppy up there. Let's just see what the measured move takes it to. I'm just, I'm just curious. Let's put this in and measure this off. So there's a move from this bottom to this top. And I want to duplicate it. And now I want to slap it on that bottom. Not quite. Not quite. It's close. I think I got this number up there as a target. Yeah, not quite. We'll see. Well, there's the measured move almost to the all-time new highs, uh, all-time high. Almost. Doesn't quite cut it there, FNGU. Let's take a look at our technicals after we see uh, IWM. <clears throat> IWM doing a bullish engulfing off of this uptrend line. All right. Still underneath the, uh, the high anchored VWAP and the low anchored VWAP. So 
a lot of and underneath the downtrend line so bouncing uh, in a wedge right now possibly back up to here we'll see there's IWM still in a downtrend Diamond Dow still in a downtrend okay Diamond Dow putting in a higher low higher high closing over a bearish trap and over the 17 EMA so there's Diamond Dow so SPY QQQ FNG you all in uptrends Diamond Dow IWM still in downtrends USO USO do they take out the high yes they did USO now enters uptrend status taking out this high right here USO higher low higher high closing over the bullish trap over the rise over the hooking 17 EMA on USO now in an uptrend UNG in an uptrend uh, making a lower high and a lower low closing below the bearish cross and underneath the 17 EMA so there's UNG still in uptrend status uh, if it takes out this low it will no longer be in uptrend status SLB in a downtrend still price action today inside day lower high higher low closing inside the bearish trap but underneath the 17 EMA GLD GLD lower high lower low closing under the bearish trap under the 17 EMA still in a downtrend let's take a look at our technicals technicals we finally got out of the oversold zone we parked there watched a movie I think we even stayed for the encore uh, found ourselves opening up in this morning in the sell zone made a higher low and kind of fought our way and I'm going to say fight because it wasn't easy our way into the sellers chop zone so you can see right there we wind up putting in a little pinky higher low there curious if they can make it back to the 50 yard line all right so there's the buyer's chop zone and this is the seller's chop zone so we were in the sell zone for most of the day and then we found ourselves in the seller's chop zone all right so there's buy zone over bought zone right there so we are in the seller's chop zone right there and let's take a look at t21 23 15 minute uh just pitiful all right started off the day red and oh my gosh we couldn't even get back to yesterday's close again okay so we never filled this gap i don't think we ever filled this gap we never got back to this day's close or this day's close couldn't even get back to friday's close small caps and mid caps just selling off i, I don't know this may be a top for spy I'm 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 starting to think there's just nothing happening in the IW in the T2123 to say uh we, we we might go higher. I don't I don't know. Till this thing finds a bottom, now we're on support right here. Didn't quite touch it. And maybe that's a bounce i don't know we saw some green we saw some green candles here but we never we never filled the gap on that day <clears throat> got some green candles here uh never filled the gap for today so t21 23 three bar again just pitiful you can see you know if you look at it uh, on the three bar you know we're down into quadrant we're, we're way down into quadrant one where we should be up in well quadrant four up here here's price in quadrant four almost doing the the bearish engulfing not too much further and we got a bearish engulfing move and we're coming back down here to check uh support who knows t2123 uh caught under a force field of a falling 17 EMA 
falling through this uh, <clears throat> 200 SMA right there. So FNGU, uh, green, almost from beginning to end, except for the last candle. FNGU just rocking and rolling all day today. And the FNGU carried the market today, again. Again, along with some technology, that's it. FNGU carried the market. Because you can see small caps and mid caps and the NYSE didn't really get going. All right, so that's it. Now, uh, on the dollar, what do we got on the dollar? Dollar had a little pullback, but not as interesting as it should be. It's just an inside day. Still over the high that it beat to get into an uptrend. Uh, just kind of bull flagging on top of all of this consolidation uh, doesn't look good for the dollar. It looks like it's going to keep going higher, which is not good for the market because a uh, weak dollar makes our goods and services more competitive in the global stage, uh, the global economies. So that's today's price action and that's today's wrap up. Uh, looking for some follow through on the SPY tomorrow, uh, I really think we get an MMRP, which should find support at 44.23 around there, and then uh, J hook off of there back up into these highs over here. So we'll we'll see what happens. All right, I, I'm just gonna say. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see bearish engulfing. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't want to scare anybody, but I don't see anything other than the FNGU and technology carrying the market. You know, if, if retail would step up or small caps and mid caps would step up, but I don't see it yet. It's not happening. So today's, today's entries were pretty simple all right so today's first entry was uh green erases red over the over uh over the pivot well the pivot was down here 540 80 right about 85 right there okay so there's the pivot and our first entry came in Again, green candles erase the red candles. So our first our first entry came in right there. All right, now you got a little pop here. You could have bought it or bought the pullback if you wanted to. Same thing happened again. You got a pop and you got a chance to buy the pullback to the 8 EMA. Or you could have waited for your confirmation and there's your green candle erasing the red candles. Uh, again, another green candle erases a red candle. Another green candle erases a red candle. Look, past 2.30, it's, um, we don't do that anymore. Green erases red, it's getting close to two. Green erases red, it's getting close to 2.30. And then green goes all the way up and then you get um, pretty much inside candles uh, until the rest of the day then you get a crossover so you had one two three four five six opportunities to play this to the upside today six opportunities the ones at the beginning of the day wound up panning out to be uh, some of the better ones but there's six opportunities right there to get in on this rip rally that we had this uh, today that brought the SPY to new highs. All right, traders, that's it for me. All right. I want to wish everybody a wonderful evening. By the way, I'll be doing a webinar tomorrow night at 8 p.m. All right. It will be recorded. I hope you take the time to watch it. It will be educational, just like the last one. Um, 
and uh, it'll be recorded so you can see it or you can hang out with me. Either one, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. And uh, until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I want to wish everybody uh, a wonderful evening. Thanks for hanging out with me here in the room. And I want to thank everybody out there in digital land. And I'm talking about, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of you guys out there. Thank you for subscribing, being a member. I hope that you're getting something or picking up a little bit of what I'm teaching. So, because uh, it does work. It does work. So, until 8 o'clock tomorrow, everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here.